today I'm going to be showing you how to play Mario Run on your iPad, iPhone, or iPod. So, um, uh, this came out probably, I think December 15th it came out, so a little overly, a little over a month ago, this game came out for, um, the App Store for, um, Apple. <clears throat> and, uh... I wanted to do a video of it. I wanted to do a video initially when I first started playing the game, but I wanted to get a good feel of the game before I kind of did a review. Um, just from prior mistakes, I always like to at least give a month of kind of testing in order for me to give a review. So this is kind of what this is now. It's been a month. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you how not only to play the game and some benefits from it, but what I actually think about it as well. So, um, all you would really need to do to get this game, if you haven't heard of it, is that all you have to do is go to your app store. So, go to your app store. And uh, just to follow up with this, you must have iOS 10 or later, because there is later, we're on 10.2 right now, in order to play Mario Run. So if you're running iOS 9, um, you know, you might want to do an update if your system allows you to, just depending on what kind of generation your iPhone or iPad or iPod is. But you must have iOS 10 in order to find it in the App Store. So as you can see, I just opened the App Store. It's right here. And you can see the page and it shows you like little previews of different phases of the game that you can play and a little video for like demonstration. So I already have it downloaded but it will say get and then you would just press this and it would start installing on your you know whatever device you might have from Apple. Um, now just a fair warning if you have not played Mario um, it is free to download for the first three levels but you must pay after you get to that castle level which I will show you once we get into the game and the cost of that is $9.99 $10 now I wish that Nintendo would have um, just gave you the price on here because a lot of people were not expecting a price for the third level once you got to the third level it's like a little tease and then you know it didn't necessarily show you what the game has to offer. It only shows you the first three levels, which in my opinion, after playing them so many times, it's kind of boring. So people are like, oh, they get uninterested. It's like, oh, it's just basic run game. There's so much more uh, that this game has to offer than those three levels. So if you're kind of on the fence, I would just do it. You're going to get your money's worth with the $10. Um, I've been playing this for, like I said, over a month, and I'm. this is the only game I literally play. Um, another app that you can download to go along with this is if you do not have a Nintendo, um, if you don't have like a Nintendo ID, I do recommend making one. You don't have to necessarily have a Nintendo system. The reason why is because when you start the game, you are going to get a little me and it's just going to be blank so if you want to accessorize your me you can download this mamito i hope i'm saying that right from the nintendo app store as well to customize your own little person to go along with this mario run which let's open mario run and i'll show you that now so when you get it it's going to look just like this tap to begin another fair warning you must have a constant internet connection to stream mario super mario run um I've tried to take my Wi-Fi off. It will not go through this. It will either say uh, there's no connection or your connection's not good enough to play this game. So you would just open it. You'll hear the little Mario sound. That got kind of got me excited when I first heard it. I was like, yes, Mario. Um, and it's going to do a blank screen. And this is what you'll first see when you open your... Um, you know, when you open the game, you only see this little island. Of course, your little island is going to look like this initially once you start getting these little decorations and stuff. That's kind of how little your castle is going to be. Because if you can see, mine's just a tad bit bigger because I've done so much updating. So this is kind of what the game initially looks like. 
I'm going to turn down this volume just in case if it's a bothersome. And so the first thing we're going to start off is my, well, we'll, we'll do that later. We're going to go into this. This is the notebook. I like this when I first started because not only does it tell you about your characters, your enemies you're going to be fighting, it also shows you tips and tricks on how to succeed in this game. So this also shows you the characters you have unlocked. So you can see I you first initially start with Mario and you once you connect your Nintendo ID, you'll unlock Toad. Then I just unlocked Luigi and then I had locked Princess when she, um, when I beat the entire game, and then of course uh, Yoshi came in between all of these. The only one I haven't locked is Toadette. She is super hard, but I'm gonna get her. So, and then if you click on them, they kind of tell you what their special characters are. So you got Mario. Mario's just Mario. You know he, you know he doesn't really do anything special. He's just always ready to go. You got Luigi, which he is out of all these characters, he's the very best. He can jump a little higher than all of them. And as you play the game, you're gonna notice that Luigi is gonna be a awesome character in these games, especially when you're trying to get coins and such. And we'll go around those coins a little later on. But Luigi is my favorite. I mostly use Peach because she has a floaty jump, which lets you glide through your enemies, which is awesome. You just don't go automatically go straight down. Then you got, um, you know, Yoshi. He little he does the same thing, kind of like Peach, but he flutters, you know. And then you got Toad. Uh, Toad is great too because he runs a little faster. So when you're going doing your rallies again, when I explain it later, he's gonna be a little faster than all of them. So each character has its own little special ability, and you can change these throughout the game as you play them. It's not just a set character. Then you have your enemies. This is gonna show all of your enemies that you fight, that you have fought, and they also have levels. Right now I'm at the max for this little guy. I'm at the max for this little guy. And it just shows you the different characters that you have fought in during this game. So it's pretty awesome. And then you got your tips and tricks, different spins, different jumps, slides, stomps, switches, different coins, different flags, which each of them mean. This is a great starter guide if you want to know a lot more about the different things and different tricks that you can use in Mario Run to kind of help you beat the game or beat the rallies. So that's really all this little section is and it's called My Notebook and you can gain it right here in the menu. Then we're going to go into settings. This is also really important. This is just what I was talking about earlier. You see you have a username. You'll set that up when you first sign in. But then you have this little character. If you click on this little character, one of these characters is kind of what you start off. Okay? Um, if you just don't want a blank, like I had a blank pink character, you can register a mean. And when you go through here, it's going to open up another page and it's going to show you how you can take this these little people and convert them into these people. This is by using your Nintendo ID. If you don't have a Nintendo account, don't worry, you can all they give you the links to where you can create one and then you'll have a Nintendo ID to get uh, what is this called? Mito. <laughs> and when you enter in your uh, you know your ID there and you sign in you'll be able to make you a special character so that you can look like one of these guys so I just think these guys are just a little bit more better than these guys so but if you just you know let's go back so I can show you where you go so if you just go to a settings and then click on this register a mean it's gonna give you all the instructions on how to do so so you're not gonna be left in the dark it's gonna show you how you can do it and so another bonus when you hook up your Nintendo ID is you have my Nintendo rewards so you click on my Nintendo since you're already signed in you're gonna see all these little things that you can get so far I have 410 little Mario coins these are your missions on how you get these coins play toe rally you get 10 you, you uh, win three times in Toad Rally, you get 50 points, and eventually these accumulate so that you can use them in the reward section. Now, just a little kind of trick here. I wouldn't bother getting the money because as you're going through playing the game, you're going to pretty much acquire a lot of money to where you don't need to trade in these. 
trade your coins in for this money because when you're done with the game you're going to have a ton of money and trust me if you're decorating like crazy you're not going to use it all up another uh once you start getting up these coins a good person to get is toad because like i said he's going to let you run faster so some of those levels you need a little bit more speed and he is a great person to start off with um, a great way if you run out of rally tickets is to use those points for these rally tickets. So I only really use these points for rally tickets. Since I have 99 rally tickets, I'm at the max. So I can't get any more. So I'm just, you know, accumulating them until, you know, they update or give us more rewards. I also went ahead and got this little guy because you can use this as a decoration, which is awesome because it's a big Mario statue. Like, why not? And then you have other decorations that you can use. So this is a great way to kind of different other features that you can use with your Mario. <clears throat> and then at the top here, you have your rally tickets, which I said, like, I'm at 99. I can't get any more. Um, I have my toads, which you acquire in rallies, which I will show you in a second. Um, so far, I have 400 and 4,000, I'm sorry. And these are all my toads and all my pink coins and rainbow bridges I have and different things like that and I'm on level 20 for my kingdom um, and then these are the coins 82 uh, 82,000 I've had that since I beat the game and then you have build to where you can actually build your kingdom here and I most of these are decorations like everything here other than little toad here the gif and then this is included everything else I've added myself and if you want I will make another video on how to decorate your kingdom castle so that's just a little side view here and then as you start going through the game you will unlock you know all of these little islands here so I, after I unlock this one you come with, then I unlock this one using the rainbow bridges, and then I unlock this one, and then this is my last one that I unlocked. So it's pretty awesome. And there's about two or three more that I can unlock, so I only have four of them so far. And you can put things wherever you like once you start, you know, when you press the build and you start buying things with your money. You'll be able to place them anywhere you like so I thought that was pretty cool um, and let's show you this is the tour this is kind of where you're gonna start off initially until you beat the game I mean you can do rallies but I mostly focus on beating this right now I'm trying to get all of the pink coins um, so that I can unlock a special little tunnel <laughs> to do a special level so I thought that would be pretty cool so there's all this things that you can do in Mario Run there's rallies which is awesome because you can play against people that play and your friends not necessarily it's live but you can play with other people that play Mario um, Mario Run just like you do and then once you win one of these little tournaments then you will get toads and the more toads you have the more you can upgrade your castle and the more cooler stuff that you will get and later on I will play one for you guys just so you can see how to and then like I said the tour um, you get these three levels for free you get a smidget of this level but after this you have gotta unlock all of these um, so when people initially seen it they're like oh just those levels that's all it is tomorrow it's way more you got rallies you got the toads you can unlock special things it's just way more than just the base game tour so I'm already had beat the world six so I'm tapped out so now I'm just like I said going through these and like perfecting and when you do rallies it's gonna look very similar to the tours so let's do a rally now and I'm gonna do a really simple one this is really easy I'm gonna post it up and you can see what their level is to yours this guy's a little bit higher than me you know who cares and then here you can switch your character so I'm just gonna keep peach cuz I really like peach 
and then you can just press this button and then they have a special going on you get 1.5 times more coins than you do regularly so that's gonna show you then you use your rally tickets for these rallies so let's play Mario Run and I just got that guy so that I can kill all these guys Oh, that's how fast you can die. I didn't get the pink coin, which is okay. Can flip and do some tricks here. Usually I always get that. You get a star. Currently not winning here, just to let you guys know. <laughs> um, see, he already beat me. You get 10 points if you go through that. Should have actually went through there and got that star. I think it'd be the coin rush. So it's about maybe a minute or so you get to play until the results come up. There's coin rush. That's what I wanted to show you at the end. So that's what kind of a rally looks like. And they're going to tally the points and we're going to see who wins. Which I know it wasn't me. <laughs> Usually I'm really good at this, but it's kind of hard to hold a camera and play. I mean, you can do it one handed, absolutely. But I'm used to using holding with both hands. You can see this guy is like totally beat me and he's going to get those toads that I have. So I owe him five toads and it's going to take it out of my toad, my toad uh, total. But if you do win, then you get all of those toads. You see I got minus five and then you're going to do next. And you can either rematch, change an opponent or go back to the kingdom, which is your castle. So you can just go change a point opponent and you can pick from these little uh these little people to play again. So that's what kind of what rally's like. And since I played Toad Rally, I get to go to my Nintendo Rewards, go to missions, and I got ten more coins. And it's added to my total. Haha, <laughs> 420. <laughs> and then you pick this little X at the bottom, and it kind of takes you back to your kingdom here. So, definitely, definitely worth the money, in my opinion. Because there's so much more to the base game. Like, if I click on this, it's going to give me five rally coins, which I'm kind of at the max. And then I have another little, some more dice here. I don't need any more. And it sometimes gives you coins. It's just giving me tickets. I think they know that I have enough. Then you got this big guy here. Sometimes it gives you, look, 50 rally tickets. So if I didn't have 99, I would have had those 50. Which I'm hoping in the new update that they allow you to go higher than just 100. Because I know a lot of people, I don't know if I can even, they'll show it in Rally. Okay, so no one here has 99999. So right now I'm at 4,000 toads. Eventually I'm going to get to that 9999 mark. And I can't go any further. Um, so I'm hoping that Nintendo, when they do do up the, update the game, that it lets you go beyond those factors so that you can not be stuck in a sense. I mean, you can still play the game and stuff, but um, you won't be able to level up anymore. And these levels in a month already got to 4,000. It's going to go pretty fast. Like, the tour took me probably a week to finish everything. So I know people have probably beaten it sooner than that. And then once you beat it, you get the princess, which is awesome. That was like my favorite thing out of the whole thing. Now with money, since I haven't went to over a hundred thousand, I'm not sure if there's a tap on that either. So, um, and I haven't checked anyone else's or asked anyone that has, you know, 
the same stats as me as if they exceeded that. So I'm not sure if money, you can't exceed the money. Um, but I've stuck with the 82,000 pretty much since I beat the game. And I've used some stuff to decorate, but not much to impact that 82,000. So, and before I end the video, I'll show you some things that you can get. So you go to your shop here. And these are just regular decorations. Once you start leveling up, you'll get, you know, like bush figurines and stuff. That tree is kind of cool. These are the little houses for your toads. So those are all the colors there. These are just decorations. There's bigger houses for your toads. You don't necessarily have to buy them. They don't really do anything. I'm going to show you the ones that do do things. Um, like this doesn't do anything, that doesn't do None of these do anything. It's just decoration for your, you know, for your kingdom, your big kingdom there. So none of these do anything. They're just decorations. These, the stars, kind of do stuff. So, like I said, I haven't got Toadette yet, so she's there. But I'll click on this and it will show you. So I have all the reds, all the blues, all the greens I need. I need about two, about 40 some odd more purple toads and rallies in order to get Toadette. So that's what I'm currently working on now. Now let me tell you, red toads, blue toads, and green toads are super easy to get. These yellow toads are pretty hard, but these purple toads, ah, oh, because the red and the green, you're going to get so much of them when you do rallies, when you steal them when you win. but purple if you do win um, you'll probably only get five so you gotta play the game multiple times to get to that so that's what I'm currently working on now I don't think this does anything but I think you need a thousand of each or about 500 of each to get this little oh and it's just okay so it's just a cake it's nothing too special. Now this is what I'm kind of aiming at now. This gives you a pipe to visit a special course which is awesome. So I have to get 120 which I kind of calculate is I have to go through the tour and get all of the pink coins on each level or I'm not going to get that. <clears throat> so here's the little blocks that I told you about, guys about. This is going to give you coins and a lot of rally tickets. Then those are the rainbow bridges to get more islands and then these little guys these three houses here are going to give you special games in order to get rally tickets or coins and I'll show you guys one there's Luigi's house and there's Yoshi's house so that's pretty much it until I start getting more toads they'll show me more things so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna open one of the I'll do the most easiest one. So this is one of the houses where you can get a special game. And there's about three of them so far that I've noticed that I have. And so all you got to do is just jump up. I feel like my husband does this better. Oh, there we go. Oh. Am I like seriously not hitting one? There we go. We just and you're timed by this, by the way. It's only 78 seconds, but the way I'm doing it, it's gonna be like the entire time. My memory kind of went dead, so I'm using my memory chip. So I just got. One more. I'm gonna have to use my thumb. Come on. Oh, and I missed it again. My hand's getting tired. Oh, there we go. So I didn't get any matches. <laughs> but when you get a match, you get either coins or you get rally tickets. And I'll kind of give you your total. And then I think it's about 24 hours and you can do it again. And it turns like a little yellow, like a little, 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 uh, what do we call that? Mushroom. And then there's one here and there's another one there. So they're just different little games and stuff. 
so this is definitely worth like I said the ten dollars I know other people won't just like ten dollars oh my god just for an app but it's honestly worth it like I definitely like the game and can do so much things other than just playing that base game there's so much things other than that so just keep that in mind if you're thinking about purchasing it just give it a try you know um if you feel like it's not right for you then hey you know that's your opinion but guys thank you so much for watching this video if you guys want me to do a special video on this about how to create like the perfect kingdom thumbs this video up and I will create another video sequel to this one so that you guys can show I can kind of show you guys how to make a perfect kingdom um, especially if you unlocked a lot of rainbow bridges and don't know what to do with them so thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day